Hi, this is Dave Zagel. Let's talk about tax planning and specifically for college tax planning and the American Opportunity Tax Credit. We see this come up quite a bit and the clients that come to us, unfortunately, oftentimes they've missed this or misused it. So we want to make sure that people understand the mechanics and how this fits well into a good comprehensive college plan. So the American Opportunity Tax Credit is a $2,500 per year per student tax credit. So it comes straight off the taxes you owe. This isn't a deduction where it then goes through a whole bunch of calculations. This is a straight credit back in your pocket. It is available for the first four years of the student's college. Now it's important to note here, this is very important, that you must pay $4,000 of expenses out of pocket to get this credit. So once you pay $4,000 towards college tuition and expenses, you get $2,500 back in a tax credit. The reason I say this is important is we see this messed up quite a bit, where people might take out a, uh, from their 529 college savings plans, pay for college, and then try to take this tax credit. That doesn't work. The IRS will not allow that because you're essentially double dipping on your tax savings. The 529 plan, you get to grow tax-free and you don't pay any tax on it if you take it out to pay for college. So they're not going to then let you use that money to get the tax credit. This has to be $4,000 out of pocket. And to get a little bit more specific, the, the calculation is uh, broken up into two parts. The first $2,000 you spend, you get 100% of that. The next $2,000 you spend, you get 25% of that. But in total, $4,000 gets you $2,500 per year per student and a tax credit. Now there's an income phase out, which is important. And here's where really the more advanced planning comes into play. If you're married filing jointly, at $160,000, you start to lose part of that credit. And as your income gets up to $180,000, that credit is completely gone. So here's the planning tip, and I'll show you the difference between the two income levels and the tax effects, and then talk about how we get there. Here is $180,000 of adjusted gross income. If we assume a standard deduction of $24,000, which is what it is starting in 2018, then our tax will be $26,200. And again, this American Opportunity Tax Credit is not available because we're up at $180,000. So our net tax is still $26,200. If we can get our income down on our tax return to $160,000, now our tax is only 21,800, again, assuming standard deduction for a married couple. So you've saved 4,400 on tax, plus you've gotten all the benefit from the American Opportunity Tax Credit of $2,500. So the net difference in what you're going to owe to the IRS is $6,900. It's a pretty big savings on $20,000 of reducing your income. How do we get here? Well, if you're employed in a business and just get a W-2, what you can do is try to max out what you're contributing to your retirement plan to bring your income down. That might not get you all the way there, but it's going to at least help you get some of this tax credit and reduce your taxes. If you own a business, there's a lot more that you can do to get this 180,000 down to 160 either through additional business expenses or investments in the business. Uh, but particularly, the best strategy that we like to see used is a contribution to a retirement plan because there's a lot more options that you can do when you own your own business. There's a lot more money that you can put away for retirement. So think about this. If you own a business, and by the way, I fully understand that if you own a business, there's the new small business tax deduction in 2018 that would change these tax calculations. We're not going there in this to keep this simple. But let's say you own a business and your income is sitting at 180,000. Well, 
Think about if you set up a retirement plan, and we do this all the time. You set up a retirement plan, you put $20,000 into it to get your income down to $160,000. You've now put $20,000 away for your benefit in retirement, and out of that, you've saved $6,900 in taxes. So for your $20,000 that you're putting away for yourself, you are getting an almost 35% return on that in tax savings right now. And not just right now, but you can do this every single year for four years of that student's college education. So even with, this is just one child, if you have multiple children, you actually, if you have two kids, you'll get twice the American Opportunity Tax Credit. So this is just one year, one child. So send this out four years and you've got $80,000 going into a retirement plan, plus over four years, you're just shy of $28,000 of tax savings just by understanding the credits that are available and applying them to some good tax planning as part of your overall financial planning. Like I said, this is just one kid. Imagine if you started adding a second child every year, or if you have three children and you're multiplying this out over many years. I mean, the benefits just become gigantic. And this is how you properly plan for tax credits when you have a child that is going through college or is coming up quickly on college and you have to understand how to ship some income around. So there's a lot of other tax planning that you can do uh, around college funding, but this is just a good, clean example of an easy tax credit to obtain if you can just monitor your income and make sure that you're doing everything else properly in order to claim it. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to me or leave me a note. I'll respond and uh, do the best I can to explain this if there's any questions on it. But this, um, like I said, this is a very easy tax planning example that can get you a ton of benefit if you are actually doing the planning in advance and understanding the mechanics. So thanks for watching and look forward to uh, more videos on topics like this. Thanks.